for a button. Oh, uh, I'd have to press the button so it All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bears and Dragons. A bunch of us new DS players to run and play Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons! However, um, we, we basically had a fight last night. What, what happened yesterday? We, we defeated Tiamat. Yeah. We... Surprisingly, like, it... The fight, the fight went well. What is it? Speak for yourself, okay? I am. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. But then he was in the middle of all of the attacks. I mean, Zinger was there. Yes. You're the one that was there. He was keeping you alive. And, and yeah. at the end, I had an angel there. I had an angel there helping you out. Yeah. yeah um. <laughs> Gay, gay I, I, I cannot believe we managed. Gay boy, uh, blinking. Yeah, oh man. Mama went down. But here's the here's the thing. But what, what do we learn from this? Never piss off. Me. <laughs> no, never piss off from a carnum dragon. With the combination. Uh, uh, what is he wearing? The Breath of the Prism. Combination of the Breath of the Prism and his his incarnate nature. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, he, I, mis I, I mispronounced it. The Wreath of the Prism, since... Yeah, the, the Breath of the Qu Queen and the of the Prism, two separate things. Yeah. <laughs> You're conflating both. Mm. Or at least the one. And uh, <clears throat> using some soul melds, he shackled the dragon goddess and sent her back to hell. So, sister's just gonna sit up because she was prone and be like, all right, who's ready for round two? Uh, you look yeah, around you and there is no Ima. You see, you see, she don't, don't see boy don't. with the uh, wreath of the prism glowing like with a blue haze around. He's looking very pissed off, and he's just standing in the center of the room. Uh, you look around, and no one. Wait, no, and, did we win? If you look up, you do see a body of some. Hmm. All of a sudden, it seems to be coming a little closer. <laughs> He's falling. Uh, right on top of you. Move. Can I move? I'm exhausted. Um, I'm going mean, to scoot you were, like five you were feet. You resurrected. You were just healed. Yeah, we're like, this fight was exhausting. I'm just going to scoot five feet. Stay on my ass. Just dodge. Yeah. All of a sudden, splat. You. Uh, is a uh, human that you uh, and then like five ten feet away a head bounces.
you hear a big roar and the sound of the dracorn I guess that they got the drag horn too. So I'm going to reach into my bag, mm -hmm. take out the dragon masks, and just look at it. I mean, uh, I've never held one. Be like, yeah, that seems powerful. Really powerful. Let's keep it safe for the other dragons. Are you still looking pretty hurt, sister? Yeah. Uh, Squall will go ahead and grab out a potion of supreme healing and hand it to you. I'm going to chug it like a, a sorority sister in the finals. 10 I think it, plus 20. Yeah. So, I'm 44. All right, that should be fine to walk and beat up any ass on our way out. So, I'm going to... Get off of prone. Like. Stunned? No, I'm not. Are you okay? Are you the one? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. He, could, he just kind of leaps on top of you. He's still in his dragon. I lost consciousness for like six seconds. What happened? Um, well. Uh, 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 um, like power inside me, like, or, or like connection, like some spirits were saying something to me, and I just, just melded them to the crown, and then I jumped on to, um, um, uh, that that lady's head. Well, each one, there's like five of them, and. Then, and then, uh, with the energy from holes, I pushed her back into hell. I don't I am. You were great. Uh, I have to say that. I'm just happy you nobody, you? nobody got hurt more than I did. Glad you're. I know we probably would have been able to bring it back if you did that, but rather because we have before. Well, one death was Raven enough for me. And Raven Queen and yeah, and uh, Ron Koros was really cool. It, it, you know about like plane shifting. Hopping between planes, right? Yeah. Can we go to Iodron? Because that's where, where, where Raven Koros lives. We could. I mean, I don't have to go back to Ravnica right now. And I think after that, our job with the eyes of Io is going to be done. But yeah. We could plan to go see Raven Raven Cronus. Yay! And he starts bouncing around. He's still in his strength. Yeah. What's for someone here? who just took down a, a god? You're pretty energetic. Well, we just took down a god. I mean, that was pretty cool. <gasps> Did you see how Mama sliced his face? I mean, she's not really. Are you implying that we need to go to her realm and kick her ass? I mean, could I? I don't know. Was that we need to? I mean, I don't think we need to. We pretty. Uh, she's. I don't know. She's probably 
like it probably take time for her to like get into a form where she could try this again. Oh, I don't need to. As long as we're there when she tries again. Maybe she won't try again. Maybe uh the, maybe a whole like didn't Asmodeus want her to stay because she's like our dog. Uh yeah. She's probably gonna get scold but down there. Um and, and I don't suppose yeah, yeah. You you okay? Uh a little tired. He's he's currently plop, kind of like he kind of like plopped down himself on the ground. He didn't like down just kind of <laughs> <sighs> Squall, Ketrick, where's Ketrick? No, uh, he's roaming around, so I'm gallivanting. Oh, not seeing him because he's behind me. I'm just gonna be like, Ketrick, you okay? I'm gonna take the hide action. <laughs> oh, well, he's still at disadvantage. So you have nothing to hide on. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hide behind the corpse. Um. So I have advantage on stealth check. <laughs> so straight roll. So, Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah, Frederick, you have no idea where he is. Squad, well, you okay? However, however, uh, uh Shatad like, kind of like. Looks up at you, kind of sees you, kind of like trying to be still and very quiet. He goes, "Anyways, Mama, uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm sure Catherine's fine." No, I'm I'm no worse for wear. Um, kind of look at the angel and just be like, "Well, guess we don't need you," and send him back. It shrugs but... and dissipates. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this door? Well, whatever this is. In, in the, the in this area that it's, it's the blue dragon door. I moved. I was. I moved to a different screen. I didn't move you to the. Oh. There. Yeah. Uh. Can we go home now? Oh, maybe the fight is in none. We should still help. Oh, you, you can all see the half dead, exhausted Frederica just picking up her picking up her glaive, walking it like a, a walking stick, being like, where are them bitches at? I am not down for the count. Uh, you look out and you see a plaza that leads off to two tunnels through the east. But both kind of still north. Uh, big enough for dragons to go through? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm not going through there. Uh, I'll just turn back around. And uh, eventually get back to Squall and just tell him that's where the dragons were, were coming from. Yeah, yes, it was. Plaza. I want to go home. Oh, I agree so. with that. Well, shall we go the way we came, or should we go a different way? The Maybe. way we came is blocked. Um, can, uh, uh, Squall, can you do the, the thing again, and I can carry you guys through the thing? Because... I think I can. Uh, yeah. Sadly, uh, 
need to rest up a bit before I can do that. Bring everybody back into my bottle. You have to rest to be able to rest. Yes. To provide sanctuary. I think the door where Nero Vein um, exited is not blocked off. Well, Nero Vein's dead. Well, yeah, but like where he he came from. Oh, well, there was also like there's like a door for each of different locations, except they're smaller. Let's pick a random door and go through it. Oh yeah. I mean, after this, after beating the ass of a god, I don't think there's nothing in here that can hold us out. The ground starts to shake. Let's hurry um, up. Um. Okay. So I have. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Um. Does someone have teleport? Yes, he's up in the sky with Mammoth. I um, have a spell. I thought I had a spell that let me make a hole in the floor. Maybe it might be. Uh, what's the infiltrator's key? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, but. I can't. Maybe it's a. Uh... Oh, uh... switch the key for while showing that you don't want it to be. They can call it the magical opening to appear. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's not a spell. It's just a feature of the key. Uh. So, yeah, as a bonus action, you can touch the key to a floor, wall, or ceiling that is no more than five feet thick and cause a magical opening to appear in the surface. When you create the opening, you choose its length and width up to 10 feet for each dimension. The opening lasts until the key passes through it to the other side, at which point it disappears. If a creature is in the opening, when yada, 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 the key can't be used again to create another opening until the next dawn. So I'm going to try to make a hole in the fault floor. Uh, won't work. No, I don't know. It, it won't work. We're on ground level. We're on ground level? Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, you went down. Yeah. You went okay. into, basically kind of went into a mountain, into a big, must be a cavernous space or something. Kind of a cat. This time, I thought we were high up in the air. Okay, um, and that changes my plan. Um, actually, it destroys my plan. Well, we can use. Can we use that at the entrance where we came through? Yeah, let's go. Track back the way we came in. Oh, and we need to rescue the, the prisoners as we exit. They should be in a room. We just have to remember that I have to go through the whole last. Yeah. Technically, the key has to go through the whole last. All right. Yeah, but I'm the only one that's attuned to it right now, so... Just because you're tuned to it doesn't mean you have to always be holding on to it. Yeah, you don't have to. Okay. Following. Well, it's rumbling, so I, I don't want to stay here for no reason. Oh. Uh, is there more blood in this um, room? You are not seeing anybody. Yes, my blood and such, but you don't even hear anything. Okay. Uh, we cannot go by the the way we came in. Need to find another way. Why can't we go the way in? 
Because we cannot go into your bottle. But we're just talking about using the infiltrator's key to make a doorway out. Didn't you say it was five feet? Yeah, I would say it was about like 10, 20 feet. I had to walk through when I got through. Yeah. Uh, I, then it won't work. That's too thick. You do see signs of battle. You do see some uh, some um, dead uh, cultists as well as some must be members of the Emerald Enclave. I'm I'm trying to pick up every corpse that I can. Oh, what? <laughs> like every every enclave corpse, or like I don't give a I I don't give a damn about the cultists, but like. The corpse of the dead could be still be raised, or you know. And out you go. You emerge from the cavern, or from the caves, and you do hear coming from the north, the opposite side of the caldera. You do, I do hear uh, what sounds like the remnants of fighting. It's like. A battle is wrapping up. Still some fighting left, but seems to be coming to it. I'm you hear gonna... a large dragon roar again. And you suddenly see a bunch of chromatic dragons scatter. Zen, do you want to shout that the queen is dead? Uh, I don't... Into... Yeah. You don't have it? You don't check that. I'll be highly disappointed. <laughs> Kabaturgy is so good. Oh, it does. Official announcement. The queen would... has fallen on. It would be better if you said bitch instead of queen, maybe. Yes, the big he, fat he bitch takes is a deep dead. Breath, but it was like a quick uh, incantation. The dragon queen has returned to hell. Mm -hmm. In the It's hearable, 300 feet. Good. Uh, you see, um, suddenly coming over around the, the caldera, you see this gargantuan, multicolored dragon, uh, followed closely by a, a black and gold dragon, an ancient gold dragon. I recognize the black and gold one, but who the heck are the other two? Is one of them laden? Yeah. One is laden, one is Krivas, and the other is Kriv. What was laden doing all this time? Fighting he, outside. He's, he's been with his dads, fighting, fighting the chromatic dragons and whatnot outside. Making sure we don't have ancient chromatic dragon fighting us at the same time as the queen. <laughs> Which would have been a disaster. Having a level 20 dragon with us would have been nice, but okay. <laughs> the, the, the three of them uh, uh, fly, fly over and uh, land near you and transform into their dragonborn forms. He tricked looking immaculate. He says, ah, I did it. Uh, I sense that she was gone. It gave a little big yell, and all, all of a sudden, this strange voice came for me, uh, 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 like man in the other dragons. You see, see how those chromatics just scattered. Yes. Also, I don't hear the drag horn. Like it uh, stopped. It's just easier. <laughs> Something tells me I I don't know what might have happened, but I think um I, I took possession of me stable the dracorn. I don't know where it is right now. Probably go find a new droid or something. 
Loves him. Uh, but are you, are you guys all right? Leiden? Uh, yes. I don't want to shunt on any of your achievement, but your little brother just killed the god. Well, technically not. <laughs> but she kicked her ass. Her... Look, you did most of the damage. Like, I understand, no, I... Yeah, I... The final blow. And it, 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 it's like, good job, bro. Now, can we rest? Oh, yeah. We're all Probably get you out of here. Here, uh, care for a lift? Yes, uh -huh. please. And uh -huh. he turns into his uh, avatar of IO Gargantuan. Uh, actually, he's actually probably here's a little bit bigger than than. The, well, actually, no, Bob, the same as the same. Uh, oh. And and he kind of like just kind of like rests on the ground to me. Climb up. I did mention door up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to use my left, the left of my strength to just climb on it. <laughs> Layden turns into dragon, kind of melt. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it, it, and it helps. I'm assuming Curve is just by and watching or something. It's one of the first time yeah. I think Kriv sees Frederica that beaten up. Beside the moment we died. <laughs> well, at that time, me, none of us saw anything. We yeah. Dead. It's just a bunch of flame, ice, lightning, <laughs> acid. Just name an element. <laughs> with yeah. Air. A big old cloud of chaotic breath. Death. Yeah. Just death. And starts flying. Actually, you think yeah, it would actually fly up to Skyreach Castle? Yeah. Because it's probably, you're probably not really in a position for like that long of a flight. I think it's a month that you said last time, or six months uh, or something. Yeah, it's a month of March, so it will still be faster by Skyreach, uh, yeah. if not by Dragon. It's even faster by Teleport. Uh, if you don't have... I know. <laughs> um, um, um. So now you're on a uh, big floating... Did we sleep while we were flying? No, no. I mean, the sky reach was just still there. It just basically took you to a place of sleep. Yeah. Oh, he flew us up to sky reach. Okay. Yeah. Sky reach is still floating. Guy. Uh, they're right now. It looks like the minions of the cult of Siva are currently in disarray and scattering. Up work at this. Can I try shooting some while we're up here? He wants to kill people. Um, it's probably not that great. I mean, this is really fast, and he's probably not meaning to get you into a good position to shoot. And by the time he gets up high and gets up high, it's probably even out of your range. I don't know. Even with sharpshooter, <laughs> I don't think I have sharpshooter. But uh. I mean, if you did, he'd probably still be out of your range. Bleep. Hmm. Okay. Might not might not have been working on the stream. I know I haven't been hurt or anything, but Catholic just picks a spot, just lays down, sleeps. Yeah, bro. 
cuban sized rooms and there's a couple of he doesn't places. care there's a bunch of ogres running around <laughs> Um, then I guess he would pick a room since he doesn't really want to be around other people. Or at least where there's a lot of people. He can oh. easily find a spot. So Kefir goes and hides. Hides. Is there anything you want to do while in Skyreach, or should we fast forward to Waterdeep? Probably fast forward to Waterdeep. Yeah. I don't know what's on Skyreach. It's just... A castle with a pilfer dragon's lair in it. Yeah, I'm good. On your way back to uh, Skyreach, uh, you were able to meet with some of the leaders who were basically stationed themselves on Skyreach. That was kind of their command post. And you can appraise them of, of what happened. A thank you for everything. And uh, they did find a massive, massive horde. Of treasure because of its impossible to account for everything they offer they, they are with supervision by Cletus uh, the dragons are going to be administering to him to it because they're very good at keeping track of what's in a horde. But one of the things for your duty of being of defeating Tiamat is you have your your choice. You basically can loot the horde. Yeah. Loot the horde. Loot. I don't think Catholic would really care to do. If you find some nice leathers, let me know. <laughs> we still need to find the the art the remaining artifacts. Hopefully, they're going to be in this board. taken care of and I will say you do <laughs> every last one of them you find a whip a pair of glo a couple pairs of gloves uh, no a A bracer, a set of gloves, a dagger, a flail, a staff, a book, a cloak. Um, you find a pair of maces, seem to be able to attach to each other to make a great mace, a warhammer. Another dagger. Daggers. Rapier. A shield. A heavy crossbow. Uh, a cloak. Actually, two cloaks. Another belt. The girdle. And a set of studded leather. Ooh. If 
first thing that happens when they're found is for some reason uh, Lemon shows up with her book, her glasses, and a silver dragon scale. Is Fang with her? Fang is with her. Yep. Okay. Seems to be following her around like a puppy. Well, he is a puppy. What do you expect? As soon as uh, Fang sees you, Catherick uh, comes running up to you and tries to tackle you, but he's still a puppy, so it doesn't really tackle you. Let it happen. <laughs> and to boost his ego, I go down. <laughs> you fall to the ground. <laughs> you prep fall. It's kind of like jumps on top of you and starts licking your face. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's actually okay. that encourage that's positive growth right there for animals. Even cubs will bite their dads, and the dads will act like it hurts to encourage. I'll just Back. pet behind his ears and stuff. Says, that's what I'll do while this is going on. All right, uh, so let's see the items. Go ahead and start handing them over. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. And she pulls out a pearl. <laughs> there. She pulls out this um, looks like a jeweler's loop. She holds it up to her eye. Okay. Uh, okay. That's good. That's fine. Uh, that's good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. She just says, and she starts sorting them out. It says, okay, I'll take care of these. She's in about a minute later, yeah. a familiar yeah. portal appears. And I she, jump in the portal. She yeah. takes everything and be, be like, I'm sorry, but I had, uh, for security purposes, uh, I'm attun I've attuned this to only be allow me to enter. And she dutifully walks into the portal. And about a half an hour later, she uh, comes out and closes it and says, "Don't worry, I'll have it fixed. I'll have it set set to allow you guys back in by tomorrow." Yay! Uh, and I believe Krebus is going to take me to deliver everything. Okay. To all the places? Well, well, first we're going to go to Iodron, and I think Lila's going to be the one that's going to help me do the do the plane jumping. Yeah. I, me and Shatan would like to, to join. I know we have to go to Exandria, too. Oh, you're, you, you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Hey, bro, get to go on a day trip. Yeah. He's back, he's back to boy. <laughs> By this time. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll make it back to the sanctum of eyes. All your work has been done. And do you Yay. know anything about what was in that hoard? Treasure room. Lots of cash. If not. We'll find out what it is. So here's the description of the main cha treasure chamber. You see gold, mountains of it, jewels, pearls, silver plate and gilded mirrors, jeweled swords and the armor of kings, caskets and boxes and barrels filled to overflowing with the treasure of the Sword Coast, packed into a cave the size of a cathedral and stacked to the height of a giant. Pathways wind through a glittering mass as whose reflected light dazzles your eye like a million twinkling stars close enough to touch. That's 
a That's shit a ton. Yeah. That's going to be useful to rebuild the different nations attacked by the, the dragons. As for, for the goal, I mean. You basically, uh, they are offering to pay you for or defeating Tiamat. Uh, anything that you would like to take from the horde. Of course, you can only take what you can carry. I'm going to look through the magic items for um, a glaive and an armor that is suitable for me. Since I know I'm going to be departing with the one I have right now. Easily find a plus three slave. Yeah. And a plus three whatever armor you yeah. care to wear. Yeah. Guessing uh, for me a um, plus three studded leather. Catherick, did you want want something? He's too busy playing with his dog. Okay. Uh, what type of uh, armor do you wear? I wear leather or something. Something close to that. Uh, oh, at the moment, I'm wearing studded leather plus two. All right. So, uh, while you're playing with Fang, um, the boy comes up to you uh, carrying a bow and a set of studded leather it says hey i found these for you i saw you, you were like playing with anger and so i i did some searching for you and you get a set of plus three studded leather and a plus three bow oh i i forgot that uh they're gonna take fin away from me mm -hmm. when I, I, I know Fed Thirst is kind of cool but and everything, but uh, you got to take it back to Alexandria. Hey, is there a hold bow in the horde? Huh? Is there a hold bow in the bo in the horde? A what? The hold bow. The hold bow? Uh, very rare magic item. One of the bows, because there's not a lot of bow. O A T H B O W. What type of bow it is? Oh yeah, it's a long bow. The oath bow. Yeah. Got it. Sure. Sorry. There's this bow that looks cool. It looks fancy. There's like elves. On the, on the bow. So you could have a plus three longbow, or if you want to, you can have an oath bow, or technically you can have both. Um, oath bow, you said. O A T H B O W, all one word. Both defeat my army. Um, 
I mean, if I if Kai can have both, and I'll take both. But... Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Just for the lull, I'm gonna check if there's not if, if there isn't like an armor of invulnerability in there. No, there isn't. I, I figured. <laughs> Anywho, I got what I needed. There's also gold, platinum, silver, copper. Uh, let me check my funds. I have more than enough. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I have like 500,000 gold pieces. So I'm just going to look at uh, the dragon's offering and be like, um, as much as I appreciate, just use this money to help uh, rebuild the towns as it's been destroyed and, and this endeavor. We shall make ensure that the funds are appropriated, but you do definitely deserve your reward. If only magic items is what you choose, then, well, so be it. Well, let it be known that we did what we did. That's more than enough for me. If sh if you want to take all the daggers there is, boy, you can. You have all the right. Well, I am trying to get a horde here, so. Excuse me. There you go. It starts going off. He, he finds a bag, uh, looks inside it, cocks his head, and turns it inside out. Out drops about 500 platinum. Turns it back inside out. Puts it over his, his, his self, and he starts running off. And, and just like starts looking around and he starts scrooge maducking through all the coins looking for magic items he finds seventy six Plus one daggers. <laughs> Thirty-eight plus two daggers. Twenty-two. Plus three. Plus three daggers. And eight. He, and while he's doing this, he's like finding some other stuff, which if you're trying to, to, to like think about value, he just kind of like passes over. But there, there's probably something that's probably more valuable than anything of the daggers that he's looking at. He wants a useful hoard. Um, actually, I'm going to look for one particular item. Um, it would be the an amulet of planes. He, he, he finds eight vicious daggers. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, yes, it works. He's, he's got his focus. Mm 
these certain death daggers. You're not healing. <laughs> um, so, can I find a... Um, what's yeah, the name? We'll, we'll, we'll say it's like four vicious, four... Yeah. Uh, four um, daggers for certain death. Yeah. Could there be a uh, amulet of certain? Uh, not amulet of certain death. Uh, amulet of the plains. Yeah, sure. All right. I think we're gonna need this boy. If we want to visit different places, I'm going to show you around my home. Yay! Although eventually here, I'll be able to plane shift myself. Yeah. And, um... I'm able to plane shift forward, like, before, because it, just because I was actually still just a soul. But uh, I'll eventually get that... I'll eventually get that ability... I just need to go. I over. believe you. Maybe, maybe, maybe if we go away for a while and come back, it'll be like tomorrow, and then, then it'll be just like 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 Layden did. All grown up. Yeah. Although. Yeah, you'll like, always be my baby. Is, yeah. Well, I don't know, Mora. I'm just gonna smooch him in love. Hmm. He starts screaming. That bit, there are people watching. Oh, don't embarrass me, especially in front of the other dragons. <laughs> Squall, anything you would like to do after you you wrap up our your treasure find? Or anything in the treasure you want to find. Well, the only thing that was going away was my armor. I already have paid for someone to look for my rod. So there's no reason to try to find one of those in there. Because that would just be money lost. Uh, you could recoup your money. I guess I can take a hundred... 100k worth of gold besides the armor compared to everything that's in here that's a pittance yeah oh that's all I'll take though because that's leaving me at 182k plus what um my boyfriend has he has another 100k so but after that he was just he's gonna go find a quiet place to rest y'all rest relax get one rest and you head back to the sanctum of eyes at this point, your job has been done. You've been congratulated. You've been rewarded. And now you can do whatever you want. Do we get a level up, though? Yeah, you totally get it. Like, you, during that long rest, you are now level 15. Yeah, I just really wanted it to be a 15 and not 14. <laughs> I know, right? I get great great things from being level uh, 15. Not that it matters. So, uh, with the help of Krebus, Zindralov returns to Ravnica. Goodbye, Zindralov. Zin? Um... You don't forget something? No, oh, what is that? 
I think we've traveled enough so I can deserve a hug before you leave. He gives you a really weird eye and boy looks at you kind of weird. And then he I'm not I'm not going home anytime soon. Take care of yourself, for the Greek guy. He gives you this big old hug. You, like he's he's even taller than you. Yeah, he a is. A lot Thicker. <laughs> He, he gives you a warm, squishy hug. That's more like it. And um, he he doesn't have uh, any artifacts on him. Uh, he's already uh, returned his artifacts. All right. Uh, oh. He's he's now got basically just replaced everything that he had with plus three. Good stuff. Yeah, plus trees. All right. Um. Let it be known that you uh, you help beat Tiamat's ass. That's a pretty great uh, achievement. Well, I'm a little more humble than you are. Don't worry, your name or not, is not going to be forgotten in those stories. Do I have to give back the bracers? And the cape. No. No. Cool. Just the artifacts. Just the artifacts. Yeah. yeah. Noise. <laughs> well, technically, uh, plus three plate armor is uh, <laughs> legendary quality. Legendary, but not artifact. Yeah. Um. Oh. Yeah, I think we'd probably just go, leave, go into the forest or whatever, travel. Thing follows you around. Um, purposely staying out of the way of his, uh, tribe's area, if it still exists, um, secluding himself and Fang, <laughs> being with animals. You do see on occasion uh, another forest wanderer, a... A handsome half orc. He doesn't seem him. to notice you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay. And Squall was set on his journey to own a theater company, make it famous throughout the Sword Coast. The brown half orc uh, husband has, uh, or uh, boyfriend, you haven't married yet. No. <laughs> whoa, whoa, very whoa! Busy trying to, he, he has gotten after basically telling everybody of the tales of the the infamous squall who defeated, helped to defeat Tiamat. Uh, Clearly, in his story, he did it. Uh. There might have been a little embellishment going on, but it's all it 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 yeah, it's all theatrics. Like it, you gotta tell a good story. Exactly. Like he he even has talked to you one night um, after you uh, quitted. Um, he talks about maybe writing a play. Vigorous coitus. And um, he's, he's, he also gives you the good news that he found that he thinks to be the perfect venue for you. He's pregnant. What? <laughs> Think that we should rename it The Laughing Genie Company? 
That seems kind of appropriate. Yes. Uh, before Kazakh left, could he had got like a magic item that uh increases stealth or something? A ring of invisibility helps him hide pretty much. Yeah, a cloak of invisibility. Or even just Hurry up, Nice. Maybe both the cloak and boots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like we're moving. You don't exist when you move. Yeah, you get both a uh, cloak and a pair a cloak and boots of uh, elven kind. Cloak of invisibility. Cloak of invisibility, you could do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so good. Because cloak is um, greater in viz, so even if you attack, you stay in viz. Can I wear two capes at once? Yeah. Uh, well, not really. Okay. I mean, technically, you could be attuned to them, but actually wearing them at a time. On your attunement slots. Oh, I gave myself the cloak of Elven Kind instead of the boots of Elven Kind. Yeah, the cloak um, offers sight while boots have sound in regards to sound. So, so you have advantage on stealth, but it requires those two. If you yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean to give myself that. You can all you can have all of them. So if you run out of your timing on your uh, invisible cloak, you just switch your cloak and be like, "I'm still not gonna be seen." I mean, I I, I have a, another uh, well, attainment slot. Um, well, you it could have been the uh, the ring of invisibility instead of the cloak if you wanted, just for the the sake of uh, uh, being able to wear. Cloak of Elven Kind, Boots of Elven Kind, and Ring of Invisibility. There you go. Yeah. There's your kit. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, I don't exist anymore kit. A plus three bow and a, a, a quiver full of plus three arrows. Uh, uh, Gemma actually uh, says, hey, hey can, I, can I try some? Uh, I want to try some, and, and she comes up to the to the bow, and she takes this like little thing and kind of attaches it to it. Says, "Okay, that should do it. Okay, you, now you don't have to worry about arrows." Okay. So what what does she do? She basically attached an item onto the bow that allowed it to be that basically gave it the ability of a repeating bow so it's the same well. bow it's right. just you don't have to worry about ammunition or the loading property nice okay <laughs> <laughs> well, every like, time the gotta, string gotta, every time the gatling bow yeah every time the string moves an arrow shoots yeah, watch out for the wind. As you pull back, back the, the drawstring, an, an, an arrow appears. With high enough reflexes, you, it can just look like you're freaking Gatling gunning it. Yeah. All right. Um. That's it for us. Um. I think me and the boy are gonna go and. Return with lemons all the artifacts. We're probably going to stay in Hyodron a bit. Um, hopefully I see you again someday. Come see one of my players. It better be worth... Shh, who are you talking to? <laughs> Alright, see ya. She's going to fist bump you. Ba -la -la -la. Exactly. <laughs> ba -la 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 -la. 
So she's gonna go to Key Trick. Uh, I'm, I'm gone. Point? Yeah, before you oh, leave. No, no, wait a minute, hold on. No. Can I find him? Find Keith Rick. You ask Lynn, you, you ask around. Was, Mom, what are you looking for? Keith Rick. Oh, there he's gone. He already left. It's okay. I'll find him uh, someday, I guess. I already said goodbye to him. I tried to do the the rose uh, fist bump. He didn't like it. I'm like, it's fine. Oh, okay, bye. He he's an oddball, but he was quite useful. Well, he's also really kind of scared of you. You are kind of I don't know. I don't know why. I'm super kind. So gentle. Turned into a devil uh, looking thing. If you think so, Mama. I really need to work on my image. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe we should need to get you one of those like uh books which help you with your like charisma. I need no what I need is a um an amulet of held but for charisma. Makeup of charisma. Uh, that's not gonna help you. <laughs> I know I, lo I love you, hey. but no. Makeup drools on the battlefield, I know. This is no place to put some. No. Let's... All right. Anyways, can we go now? Yeah, we can go. Right. Let's go poke lemon. Ready. I'm waiting for you. Why oh, you let's go then. Yeah, Krabis. And poof. Um, you guys head, head off to Iodron, and he actually seems to land you uh, right near uh, the uh, layer of Roman Coros. Uh, Lemon and I uh, have to head back to Drak, uh, which I believe is that way. Um, uh, but I thought it was appropriate if I just dropped you off here. It sounds yeah, like no. we're going to be sticking around for a while. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. He transforms into his uh, uh, dragon form. Uh, lemon ho hops on um, with a swish of of uh, Krebus's tail. He just kind of like swishes around and just she kind of like jumps just a bit and she gets underneath him and just kind of flings her onto his back and he heads off across the seas you are on an archipelago uh, which looks kind of drab and dreary it seems to be overcast uh, and there's this ominous fog uh, ahead of you on a path that leads to well you don't know where because you've never been here before Oh. But, it, but it looks to be some sort of rocky area. I don't know for you, boy, but after being in the jaws of Tiamat, this doesn't scare me at all. Uh, don't, by the way, don't worry, Mom. You might hear some like weird, like ghosty type sounds. Don't worry about that. Just, just follow me. Okay. It's, he just heads Lead the way, the baby. Fog. <laughs> it's very ominous fog. <laughs> the the one problem with like layers of uh of incarnum dragons is they're very spooky even when they're like super nice it, it's just a habit that it, it just happens that way souls <laughs> kind of the theme. And all of a sudden you meet the dragon hey i made muffins <laughs> <laughs> i mean muffin the chocolate I mean, chip they're really cool. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, my whole relation to this incarnum thing being half half black, I have a gender. Did you know that incarnum dragons are genderless? Like, there's no guys, there's no girls, they're all days. Oh, you're gonna be shocked when you arrived in my country, honey. I don't know about that. You can be whatever you want. Good. And you head off towards Raven Quarter Coros's lair. Yay. 
So, yeah. sounds like we got a de nice de denouement. The, uh, the uh, Frederica and her boy are off planes traveling, visit visiting Reverend Koros on Iodron. Um, we got Squall um, having a successful acting company, hopefully. Uh, Catherix, just a hermit in the woods. A spying a also hermit of uh, another handsome half orc. Um, I'm gonna ask because I don't understand the word you keep saying. Uh oh. What is denouement? Denouement? Well, denouement. Post, it's like wrap up kind of okay. epilogue. Denouement, the final part of the play, movie, or narrative in which, which the strands of the plot are drawn together and matters are explained or resolved. How do you Basically, spell that? It, it, it's, it's spelled like denouement. D-E-N-O-U-E-M-E-N-T. Because it's... Surprised because I think this is a French word. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a French word. It's denouement. Okay, I was like, I'm not sure. It sounds like a French word, but like he's speaking English, that doesn't make sense. Look, English uses a lot of words from other languages. <laughs> English is a hodgepodge of other languages. Yes, yes it English is. English is very much American. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing original. Yeah. That exactly. none of it's original. Exactly. Um. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say the uh, the question that is burning the lips of my lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is there gonna be another game, like uh, another campaign? Yes. Okay. There will be, and we are going to be starting that on October thirty first. Okay. Stay tuned. I already got my players. No problem. And with that, thank you everybody for watching the Rise of Tiamat. Yeah, when we for a while, but comes out loud will be a going on. Yes, Patrick. Um, I I had a question. You had said something about a half orc. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end, mm -hmm. what what did you say? You, well, while you've been hurting, you saw you were you spot a spied a uh, handsome half orc. Uh, okay. Who didn't see you, but you saw him. Okay, that's all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye bye. bye. Oh, we were saying bye to each other. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, uh, ending the stream now. <laughs>